walkthrough on the lighting system that's in the garage right now, guys. I know some of you have seen my my DJ um, my DJ lives. I just wanted to give a quick rundown to anybody who's interested in lighting of what is in the garage right now. So we are running <clears throat> the program called Sound Switch, which you see here in the middle here. This is Sound Switch. The top here is a live uh, video of the garage right now. Um, so pretty much how this works, guys. It, this is a DMX 512 system. And what that means is you buy lights and most of the lights you're going to see on the market are the DMX 512 system. And you'll see here, this is what it, what it breaks down into. Um, it, it, it's pretty much 512 channels of available programmable, um, lights. Now each light has multiple channels. You know, you have one spotlight. Um, I got two spotlights in here. Each of those spotlights, uh, over here on the right side, moving heads, each one of those spotlights is 15 channels, right? And, and, and the channel means the different things it could do, it could do the macros, the, how it spins, the lights, that's how many different channels it is working with. So you pretty much assign, you take that light. So for example, this is one of my moving heads right here and I have it on 75 through 85. Now on the lights, when you get the lights, they have a address on it. You pretty much just put it on 75 in that case. Then you have your light controlling, which is um, a beast of its own. Um, they have some pre-made ones in here. You see, it'll give you, I mean, now if you let me show you real quick on my phone, the way I have my lights set up in my garage, I have them all plugged into, um, morose, uh, wireless outlets. So I just hit one button and that will turn all, that will turn all the lights and the smoke on. Um, there is also, I have hue lighting in here. You see, I got hue lighting up on the wall over here <clears throat> in the program. You go to hardware, you click enable connect. I, are, I have already set it up with my hue lights. So you see, it just kicked on, it, it enacted and then bam, right? So I got a light on the box that I don't have synced to that. But you see here, all these peaks and valleys, this is all the, if I hit play here, okay, it's going to do, it's going to do that show that it's programmed itself to do. That's one of the pre-built in shows and it takes all the lights, everything that I have and puts it in to that program. The great part about this program, let me pause this. The great part of this program is you have this. Um, library feature that pulls your music from your Serato DJ Pro and it'll pull that into it'll pull that into the soft into the software it'll pull from your library and it will develop its own light show for each song based on the music you see now here, it's got all this stuff now pre-programmed in. And, and there's a process. It's not a simple process to do to get to this point. But the software does do a pre-programmed based on, you know, you could pick dance. You could pick all different things to make it pre-programmed the lights. So now when I go back into perform, okay, now I have a controller set up over here. This is a lighting control over here. This has got everything, everything that you're seeing on the screen here is actually on this board as well. You can change movement. Now watch when I, when I plug in a, a song on Serato DJ, you'll see the lights will start, right? And then when I hit play, okay, that's going to play the pre-programmed, uh, uh, program that it put in itself. Now, again, I can change all this. I have a smoke button on here. You see, when I hit the smoke button, you'll see the smoke start coming out there. 
that's pretty much how it works. And, and again, I can control everything from here. I like I could do this. I guess set the lights to to to, to shine directly on me. Uh, again, the smoke. But this is a DMX five twelve system. Um, it's all run through channels, and you can get it to do what you want it to do based on the channel. So that's how it works. Uh, it also has a beats per minute. If you didn't want to connect it right to music, you can do a link and you can do beats per minute. Uh, I'm just tapping. I, all right, so I got it up to one, 100 beats per minute, and that's going to do a show based on, and I could change the, the built-in shows with that as well. Um, it will do all different things based on the music source that you're giving it. So. So I just wanted to give a quick, uh, quick rundown of, of this, guys, because, again, there's a lot involved in, in lighting systems. You know, you can't just buy a simple system and expect it to perform like some of the ones you're seeing. So um, I'd say into this, into this lighting system right now, I have about $1,500 worth of lighting and controllers in, um, and then... You know, programs like Serato, you do have to pay for the better versions. That's a subscribe per month fee. So this stuff isn't cheap, and it takes a lot of knowledge to figure out how to do it. So um, everything you need to know, guys, is on the Internet. That's what I do. I have to figure things out. I'll YouTube certain things. Like the hardest part about doing YouTube or trying to figure something out like that is the hardest part, like I said, is figuring out how exactly what to search for that's the 512 system guys dmx 512 it's all run through channels it's all run through sound switch which i also run through my board here which is a sound switch board so um if you guys are interested in lighting systems there is multiple programs that do it but you want to make sure that you're looking into the dmx 512 system because any professional lighting system is going to go through that type of system so all right guys i hope you enjoyed the video it's your boy dirt i'm out later